Namaste everyone. We are starting with feet together, stretching arms up. Take a deep inhale, pulling arms upper body backward. Exhale, knees softly bend and we want to come down with a straight spine. Forehead to knee. We'll come up same way. So we bend the knees softly, stretch arms forward. Hips forward, arms up and behind the ears. Exhaling, full forward bend. Knees bend if you round the back. Arms forward, up and reaching back. See how much you can go backward. Exhaling, forehead to knee. Inhaling, arms forward, stretching up, pushing it behind the ears. Exhaling, forehead to knee. Knees a little extra bend if you round. We'll do one more time. Arms up, reaching back. Exhaling, forehead to knee. Coming close to knee, leaning on the toe. And let's look forward. We bend the knees softly. Again, if you round the back. Stretch right leg back with right knee tight, raising chest, right foot next to left. Inhale, right leg back, raising chest, exhaling forward. Right leg back, knee tight, sinking hip, exhaling forward. Reaching back, tightening. Exhaling forward. We'll do one more time. So we stretch it backward. Dropping right knee. Check front knee and ankle in one straight line. Pointing right toes back. Keep left hand on the floor in line with your left hip. If it doesn't reach, you might have to use a block or books. Use some kind of a height and we stretch right arm up and over. This is a side stretch and not a backward bend. So checking we are closing the ribs, sinking hips down and then keep leaning on the left side. Feeling the side stretch, exhaling right hand down. We will take a twist now. So keep back knee on the floor or you can try lifting. Turn chest to the left side and left arm up to the ceiling. If you feel uncomfortable balancing, look down. Otherwise, we will look up. Try pulling left arm away from the body to open up the chest. Hands down. We'll come on all four, so knees slightly apart, wrist and shoulder in one leg. Take a backward bend, raising chin and chest. Right knee bend and we are raising right leg up to ceiling. Just imagine you want to touch the ceiling with the right toe. Keep reaching from the chin, chest and right toe up to the ceiling. Feeling the arch, feeling the stretch on the right side. Exhaling, knee down, shift chest between both the hands, chin down. Inhale, Pujangasana. We'll take a pause here. We are interlocking fingers behind. Try pointing toes back. You can also have legs wide if that helps you hold the posture. We keep reaching backward, hands away from the lower body. Knees tight, exhaling and we raise the hips up to down dog position. Knees softly bend if you round the back, otherwise we keep knees straight. Look forward, both legs forward, looking forward to keep the length. We'll do same thing on the left side. So stretch left leg back, sinking hips, front knee ankle in line, back knee straight, 
left foot forward. Keep looking forward. Left leg reaching back. Arching. Exhaling. Left foot forward. Inhaling. Reaching back. Looking up. Exhaling. Forward. Two more times. Stretching back. Knee tight. Exhale. Forward. One more. We stretch back. Left knee on the floor. Double check your front knee, ankle in line. Right hand on the floor this time. Closing the ribs. And we stretch left arm over the head. Remember not to arch. We are doing just the side stretch. Use longer exhale to go deeper into the stretch. Neck is relaxed here. Pressing front big toe. Exhaling, hands down. We take a twist now. So stretch right arm up. Turning chest, stay here or try straightening the back knee. Look up only if you feel steady and then try pulling arm away from the front wall. So we are opening chest. Opening shoulder also. Looking down if you lose balance. We'll come on all four. So shift both the knees in line with the hip. Wrist in line with the shoulder. Arching. And we raise left leg up to the ceiling. Kicking up. So keep the imagination. You want to touch the ceiling with the left toe. And we keep reaching chin and chest up, just how we do in Bhujangasana. Exhale, left knee down, chest between hands, chin on the floor. Stomach we are not touching. We slide forward, stomach down. Legs really tight, see if you want to separate the legs. And we interlock the fingers, pulling arms back. Trying not to touch the lower body. Again, use exhalation to reach up and reach backward. You see how this feels on the upper back. Next exhale, down dog. Hips up to ceiling. Keep the knees bent anytime you start rounding the back. Take one full exhale. We will step left foot forward. We are repeating everything now. So left hand down, right arm up for a side stretch. And then see if you can go a little more deeper into the stretch for the second round. Long exhale here, right hand down, left arm up. Twisting, stay here or straighten the back knee. Pulling arm away from the front wall. Back knee is stronger here. Hands down, all four position. Check wrist and shoulder in line. Take a backward bend first. Right leg reaching to ceiling. We are keeping knee softly bent. Just create action of reaching up from the toe, chin and chest. And then really work on feeling the entire backward bend. There is a stretch on the hip also. Chin and chest down. Stomach off the floor. Inhale, slide forward. Sarpasana, we interlock fingers. Lower back really tight. And then we keep pulling. Upper body up to the ceiling. And everything reaching back. Taking one full exhalation. Releasing. Hands down. Down dog. Reaching up. Straight spine. Otherwise we bend the knee. Inhaling. Right foot forward this time. Back knee on the floor. Pointing to. And let's take a side stretch. So right hand down. Left arm up and over. Closing the ribs. So making sure we are not arching. 
Feeling the side stretch. One full exhalation. Left hand down. Twisting right arm up to ceiling. And see if you feel steady, we straighten the back knee. Otherwise, just focus on opening the chest. Pushing the arm away. Back knee tight if you have lifted. We take one full exhale, all four position. Fingers open, lifting chin, chest, left leg up to ceiling. Keep the toes pointed and then keep reaching. Reaching to ceiling from the toe, chin and chest. Pushing the floor with both the hands. Take one full exhalation here, kicking up, exhaling, Ashtanga, chest between hands, chin down, inhaling, Pujangasana, feet together or apart, make sure the legs are tight, interlock fingers and then we keep reaching back, use your exhalation to lift up and back, Feeling the arch, feeling strong legs, exhaling, we come on all four, we'll take our puppy position, so keep hips over knee, fixing the hips here and we stretch arms forward, chest on the floor, chin down, if you feel tight on the shoulder, keep forehead on the floor, if you still feel very tight, keep a block or books under the forehead. Stretching arms forward, elbows are straight, eyes closed and then imagine breathing through your upper back, shoulder and feeling the entire spine. Feeling the lower back, we are deepening the arch. On the middle back here. Few more seconds. Longer exhalation. Checking face is relaxed. We are pushing hips back to child's pose. We can widen the knees a little bit more. Arms can go back next to the body. Stay here or take your Shavasana. Take at least uh, two minutes to relax either in Shavasana or child's pose. I wish you a lovely day ahead and see you in the next one.